Welcome back to Powerhouse. Are you planning an addition for your home? Do you have radiant heating, or is it just too difficult to get that ductwork to extend to the new area? Well, if any of that sounds familiar, then your home just may be a candidate for a ductless mini-split system. We're going to find out more about that type of system from Mark Eichinger of Arctic Heating and Cooling. And Mark, tell us about the project you're working on today. Well, today we're working on a new construction home where we have rooms underneath the garages, and they're encased in concrete, so a conventional heating and cooling system wouldn't be practical. Makes sense to me. Tell us um, what that system is. What is a mini split? Well, I'm going to head back inside and do some work, but Brian's down around the corner and he can help answer those questions. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. Hi, Brian. Hi, Megan. How are you today? I understand you're the guy who can tell me all about how a mini split works. Tell well, us what it is right. and how it works. Uh, a ductless mini split is another form of a heating and air conditioning system that we install in both new construction and retrofit type applications. And how it works is we have a, an outdoor unit, so we take the noisy part of the, uh, what could be the indoor portion and put it outside with the compressor and the fan and all of that outside here. And then we have an indoor section that mounts, in this case, on a wall. We have other types that can mount on the ceiling. We have types that can mount on the side of the wall. Uh, but this particular one mounts on a wall. Um, the airflow comes in through the top, comes through a coil where it's heated or cooled, and then through a set of dampers on the bottom, it moves that heated or cool air into the space. Okay, so is this kind of like a modernization of a window unit? Similar to a window unit, except like I mentioned, we take the noisy parts of that and we put that right. outside. So the kind customer, of the best of both worlds. Best of both worlds, very, very quiet. In fact, that unit is so quiet when it's running at full speed, the only way you know it's running is when your pant legs are moving next to it. It's is very, right? very quiet. So even the neighbors appreciate now, how many, how many rooms can you accommodate with one compressor? Uh, we can do an entire home. Uh, we can do up to eight different zones, meaning we can have eight of these units mounted throughout the house so everybody can have their own separate uh, remote control and set the temperature where they want it in the space that they're at. Okay, now explain exactly how this, how the air comes in and, and how it works. This particular unit mounts uh, usually within two to four inches of the ceiling. It takes the air from high above in the ceiling, comes through a set of dampers on top, it's heated or cooled across a coil that's inside here, and it comes out through the dampers on the bottom. This is closed right now because it's not on, oh, okay. but this damper will open and allow the air to flow, and that's adjustable depending on how you want it to flow into the space. But it's done through a coil and a fan that speeds up and slows down depending on where the load of the house is. So it is a variable speed fan in this unit as well. Okay, I'm guessing this is like a, a filter system. Is that this right? is a filter. Um, you've lifted the front off. This is where the maintenance occurs. So once or twice a year, depending on the space, very easy to maintain. What you're looking at here is the filters that can be simply pulled out, washed and cleaned, reinstalled, and, and that's all the maintenance you need to do with these. Okay, tell us about the different setup applications. You touched on it a little bit, but this is a pretty versatile product for just about any application. Very versatile. Without running ductwork in the home, which is, as you know, very labor intensive and costly, the, the cost to install this is generally a little bit less because we're not running the amount of labor it takes to run ductwork. And with either an older home or homes with a, a lot of architectural style to them, we don't want to intrude on the space. So by simply running two small copper lines to the outdoor unit, uh, it takes up a lot less space to mount it. Oh my gosh, I think um, in a retrofit situation, I know a lot of people think new construction right off the bat, but to be able to go into an older home and apply new technology and have the luxury of air conditioning in every room, you know, and a, a clean heating system. And for those places like attics or basements where the heat's, uh, the temperature is so extreme in either place, each one of these modulates independently and so, I just think it's really exciting technology. Well, my next question was going to be about the cost because a lot of times new technology means higher dollars. Higher dollars. But it really isn't the case for this a little because less you save cost on labor. On install and labor, and then you get into the operating costs. Very, very high efficiency piece of equipment. These units are very high sear, and with the inverter technology, with the DC to AC power conversion, they're extremely efficient to operate. Great. I have one more question because I've heard that these. This type of system can sometimes give people trouble in the winter time when, it, when it's really cool Trouble's outside. Trouble not really true? the right word. It's uh, as a heat pump. They take in the heating season, they take actually heat from the cold air. It's hard to believe there's actually heat in the middle of winter in the air, but there's enough heat in that space. It converts it to heating in the coil. As it gets colder outside, our compressor and fan slows down. But at some point, uh, there's not enough heat in the space and we need to bring on a secondary source of heat. 
Okay, so it's good to dispel that myth that that's not necessarily true, and I'm Absolutely. sure your technology is advancing as well. It is advancing every year. We talked about the option for secondary heat sources. A lot of people have an existing hot water heating system in their homes that choose this type of system because they want to add air conditioning at the same time, save some cost in heating. We use that backup source being their hot water heat system, or at times we do electric heat as a backup, electric baseboard heat. Great. Well, thank you so much for this wealth of information. You're very welcome. If you'd like to learn more about the mini split system or other ways to heat and cool your home, visit our website, powerhousetv.com.